Buy some good popcorn. Well, we made it to the campground. We're about hour and a half south in Washington. I had to come down where the sun shines. <laughs> There's no more snow down this way. And I need that vitamin D, you know. So we're gonna check out this campsite, kind of pick out which one's the best, set up and have a good old time, you guys. So let's do it. Let's see what there's around here. This looks like a pretty nice one. Pretty cool. I'll kind of keep exploring. Oh, it feels so good to get into the sun. Temperatures are reaching 60 degrees today, so that's gonna be really nice. Spring is here, you guys, spring is here. Man, it's beautiful out here right now. Ah, oh, feels so good to get some of that vitamin D. Just what I needed. All right, let's get everything set up so we have plenty of time to relax. We all Definitely gonna need some air movement in this tent. So pop those open. That'll be good.
Well, this is nice and cozy. I've got my uh, bunk bed slash couch. I haven't really used this a whole lot and I'm excited to try it out this time. We are gonna be doing some fancy camping this time, you guys. And definitely to the extreme. I've got a lot of gadgets to show you. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a camping adventure with me if it wasn't a fancy camp. <laughs> so I've got something to show you guys. Let's do it. Oh, okay. So I've got this kind of set up here. Pretty well uh, organized. But we still got some setting up in the tent to do. Got a nice power station, you guys. Off grid power station. And it's got wheels. All right, so this is the Anchor 767 power station, and it is a beast. It can pull up to like 2,400 watts. You can power a lot of big things with this. Major appliances, microwave, fridge. <laughs> um, I don't even know what else. Uh, an oven, maybe like a toaster oven. Uh, even air conditioning. Now I'm not, I don't have that here right now, but I'm gonna give it a try later on. So the kind folks over at Anchor sent me this. Um, not only this, but also an expansion pack, which I'll show you that real quick. and the expansion pack which is basically doubling this up um, so you have like over 4,000 watt hours basically um, between the two and I'm excited to see what I can power with this I brought along a lot of gadgets tonight so we're gonna kind of put it to test and just have a good old time now these also can be equipped with solar panels so you can basically be off-grid and powering like a little tiny RV or or maybe even just a small house or something. I don't know um, with both of these. Pretty cool, you guys. Pretty cool. All right. This time we can actually power this. <laughs> now, it is kind of warm out, but... Uh, I think it's going to get cooler tonight, so we'll test it out. Um, I was not able to use this on my other little portable power pack. This thing definitely will push this. Um, I think this is like 1500 watts um, at the max, but it can also be like 750, so half that. I'm really curious to see how it's going to warm up the tent tonight. And of course, I've got to have my lamp. Fancy camping. <laughs> All right, I've got a little mini fridge. We're gonna set that up here too, because I've got some stuff I need to keep cool. Some uh, like produce. We got some mushrooms. Gonna keep that nice and cool. Some uh, tomatoes. Oh, I've got some bacon. Shove that in there. Gotta keep that bacon cool. Oh, we got a stick of butter. And a lemon. Go ahead and plug that in. Get that thing nice and cool. There we go. So that's pulling 54 watts. It can do that for 25 hours. All right, now we'll hook up the secondary battery. So what you have to do is you have to plug it in the back here. There we go. All right, now that we've plugged in the expansion pack, we've got 2.2 days. Nice. Well, I almost forgot too. I've got this hot and salty sriracha milk chocolate bar that I wanted to try. We gotta keep that nice and cool. Just shove it in there. Stay in there. Oh, it's kinda, doesn't wanna stay in there. There we go. There, there we go. Well, might as well do a little bit of fishing. All 
I've got my bait out there. Hopefully we can catch a fish. Because tonight I have a vegetarian dish. And I would like to add some protein to it. Maybe a nice trout, you know? Might be tasty. Man, we got the birds out here. So pretty. So good to hear the birds out. Sure did miss that. Now I did bring some bird seed. I don't know if uh, this will attract them or if they'll be interested in it, but we'll try it. Of course, now I don't hear him. All right, there you go. A little bit of Bob Rossin, you know. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, it took me quite a while to do. Always does. I like to do the little fine little details. I'm no professional painter, I'm just a hobbyist. I sure like to do it though. So up on top of the mountain, there's this like road up there or something. 
and it really stood out to me so that's why I really kind of put it there it looks like a big road I don't know it's interesting so I'll probably fine-tune this at home and sign it and do all that good stuff you know um but yeah that was a lot of fun definitely a lot of fun there is what it looks like to be a fire um, I'm sure it's just people burning their their fields or something a lot of the farmers do that but other than that it looks beautiful out there super beautiful you can hear a car occasionally drive by um there could be a train we might even see a barge or something out here at some point and uh yeah just having a good time you guys Well, no fish. That's all right. I think I'm going to button this thing up to keep her uh, a little bit warmer. Start to get a little chilly. A little chilly. All right, we need to get some ingredients here. Ooh, nice and cool in there. Okay, we need our lemon. We need our butter. Yeah, we don't need bacon, we just need these. There we go. You guys can stay in there. You can be friends. <laughs> Probably give these guys a rinse.
Dale and Father Lord, thank you so much for this opportunity to come out here and just see something new. At a glance, Lord, the desert's dead, but it isn't. Lord, there's so much life here. All you have to do is look for it. And Lord, it just reminds me of life. There's so many circumstances and trials and tribulations that we go through. But Lord, if we really look, we can see the good in it. Maybe it's not immediate. Maybe it's down the road. But Lord, we know that all things work together for good to them that love you. And I just thank you for that truth. I pray that you will just bless this food to my body tonight. I pray that you will watch over the family as I'm away. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh boy, you guys. We have a tasty looking meal a vegetarian dish a vegetarian <laughs> a veggie dish and it looks amazing okay so i have had a little bit of it and i have determined it needs some tabasco <laughs> everything needs some tabasco sauce because it's good it's got to be good for you Okay, we'll squeeze a little bit more lemon on there. Try not to shoot myself in the eye. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dishing it up. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really good, you guys. That's super good. Like, I don't even think I'm really missing the meat. Though I'm sure meat would really make it good. I don't, I don't miss it. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a good thing, I guess. That's a good, that's a good recipe. Man, I just love all the veggies too. You just feel good when you eat them. Like you feel like you're doing something good for yourself. <laughs> and I need to do more of that. Okay, maybe like some sort of sausage or something like that would be really good in this. Or chicken, maybe even chicken. A trout definitely probably would have livened things up. Looks like we got the train going by. It's like the midnight train rolling through. <laughs> That'd be so crazy just uh, sitting in a train cruising through, especially next to the uh, river. That's interesting, you guys, seeing that train tonight. One of the many things out here. I don't mind it at all, it's kind of cool. Listening to the old train cruising by. Okay, you guys, we're in the tent. It's currently 39 degrees outside and it's 45 degrees inside, which is four degrees Celsius out, seven degrees Celsius in. It is definitely getting colder in here. <laughs> I can see my breath. <sighs> so we're gonna turn this thing on and we'll see how this does. See what happens when it kicks on. Okay, we're pulling 711 watts, and it looks like we can be doing that for 4.7 hours. So I'm curious to see if this little heater will heat this up. Now, the anchor has no problem doing this at all. I wonder if I kick it up to 1500 watts, how that'll do. Let's try it. Okay, so we've got that switch on. We'll do number two, see what happens. 
Oh, get amped up. Oh, I can feel the heat. Okay, let's see how many watts we're pulling now. 1395 watts says we could do that for 2.3 hours, which I'm not sure if that is both units like combined or if it would be like over four hours that we could have it on. I'm not 100% sure. But boy, we'll see if it gets toasty in here. All right, we're warming up. It's been a little bit. We're up to 63 degrees Fahrenheit inside, which is 17 degrees Celsius inside. Up top, we are looking at 70 degrees. Look at that. That is nice. Woo -hoo -hoo. I like it. Little thing's working pretty well. <laughs> it's getting nice and toasty in here. So you know what that means? When it's nice and toasty, it's time to get cozy. How about popcorn in a movie? Oh, all right. We got our little stir crazy popcorn maker. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Just gotta add a little bit of oil to that. Add some kernels. Add our lid, there we go. And then what you gotta do is you gotta add some butter to the top. Add that to the top, cause we want some buttered popcorn. Cause that is the good stuff. Our lid back on and we shall hit that button. See what happens. See how many watts we pull next. All right, we're up to 1554 watts. Ooh, we had a popper. Yeah. Okay, think we're about done. Okay, then all we got to do is flip it on its head. This little thing came off of there. Not sure how that happened. Oh yeah, look at that. We've got some nice popcorn right there. Mmm. Oh, it's nice and buttery. We're gonna add a little bit of white cheddar to it. That's always a good way to do it. White cheddar. Woo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. Give it a nice little stir. Oh man, that's some good popcorn. Mm-hmm. Quick little easy way to do it, you know. And it's kind of fun to watch them like pop. <laughs> well, I thought I had a movie, but apparently I forgot to download it. <laughs> so no movie tonight. I guess I'll just have to eat some chocolate and go to bed. Got me my sriracha chocolate. Oh yeah, look at that. Never had it before. Sounded interesting. Looks like a piece of chocolate. Now it does say that it's hot and salted. So here we go. Salty, chocolatey. 
I think I taste the sriracha. A mm, little bit of heat. A little bit of heat in there, too. <laughs> That's pretty tasty. I like that. I didn't think that spicy and chocolate went together. But I guess they do. Well, it's quite windy out there. Hopefully, I don't blow away tonight. Well, it was a really good day today, you guys. I had a whole lot of fun. This place is beautiful. Um, it's a little bit different. I know there's no snow, but I just needed to get out and see the see the sun. Temperatures are definitely dropping as well. So I think I'm in for a fun night. Very fun night. <laughs> well, I'm disappointed that I didn't have a movie, but that's okay. I probably should just head to bed anyways. It is late. It's actually midnight. Time sure does fly when you're having fun. <laughs> All right, I better hit the sack and get some good rest. I'll see all of you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> that is good. Well, good morning. It is uh it's a wild one out there. It's very windy. Very, very windy. And uh it was windy all night. Kind of kept me up. I'm tired. Definitely tired. Glad I got me my coffee pot over here. Uh, make me a cup of coffee or a couple of them. How about a pot of coffee? That's what it is. I made myself a pot of coffee this morning. Out of all the appliances that my power station can power, that's probably my favorite. <laughs> well, it got a little chilly last night. It's not bad right now. Let's check it out. All right, for our temperatures, we're looking at 47 degrees Fahrenheit outside, 53 degrees inside. And that's 8 Celsius outside and 12 Celsius inside. It did get a little chilly last night. Um, 
this will show me like maximum temperature it got in here and minimum so so the minimum was 31 degrees last night which is zero degrees Celsius um, it got a little chilly it definitely did get a little chilly that's all right I survived I survived for another day of coffee <laughs> Yeah, it's a windy one today. It's kind of beautiful, but I don't know. Definitely different than yesterday. Yesterday was so beautiful with the uh, sun. Now it looks like we got a little bit of clouds and all that. I don't know if we're gonna have rain. Can you guys even hear me? <laughs> oh, man. I do love these little mountains though. It sure is beautiful. Burned out our fire last night, nice and good. I used a lot of this uh, driftwood. Just kind of hacked it up and used what I could. There sure is a lot of that around here. I don't know if you could use that driftwood in any other way, maybe projects or something. It'd be kind of fun. I'd like to see this place when all the leaves come in, which isn't too long, not too long from now. I right, will make breakfast inside today. Make it easy on myself, don't have to fight the wind. need to get our bacon out of there there you are nice and cool oh also got butter we're gonna need that camping's good for you oh yeah it is All right, we're gonna be making some toast so you know I brought the toaster but it ain't your ordinary toaster it's a Bob Ross toaster <laughs> oh yeah we're gonna have some Bob Ross toast <laughs> see how this works <laughs> oh man Bob you probably never imagined your face would be on toast okay I'm gonna be using white bread I don't usually use white bread because the whiter the bread, the quicker you're dead. At least that's what I've always heard. Okay, here we go. We'll set this to that. We'll see what happens here. Bob Ross toast, here we go. 
I mean, toast is an art, you guys, so it's kind of fitting to have Bob Ross. We're pulling 686 watts. Definitely handles it. Okay, here we go. We've got some Bob Ross toast. Who hot? Hey, look at that! It's Bob Ross the man! <laughs> Let's see if this one turned out better. Oh yeah, look at that, Bob Ross. That is a quality piece of toast right there. It's almost a shame to eat it. Look at that spread. That looks nice. Real nice. Look at that little Bob Ross toast. Now that is art. Bob Ross right there on a piece of toast. He never would have thought that, I don't think. Never would have thought that. That's a thing of dreams, I guess. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna dig right in. That's some good looking eggs right there. How do you like your guys' eggs? Over easy? Um, sunny side up? Scrambled? I like them every way I can get them. Because I love eggs. Mmm. Mmm. Just the way I like it. Quick, simple, and delicious. I'm really not sure how I feel about this. I'm not sure how I feel about actually eating Bob Ross's face. Kind of seems disrespectful. What if I eat around it? Yeah, there's something strange about it. I guess it's just a novelty item. Yeah, I've got the Bob Ross toaster, you know. <laughs> Don't use it, but I got one. So, Bob, what do you think of my painting? Okay. Yeah, I know. Amateur. <laughs> Man, there's nothing like just having a warm pot of coffee to just be able to pull off of while you're camping. That's nice. That is a major plus for me. Just keep it coming. <laughs> Definitely is a wonderful thing. Well, I had a great time. Um, it was really cool to be able to use the Anchor portable power station. I'm pleased by it. I'm very pleased by it. I can only imagine some of the things I'll use it for. So a big shout out to Anchor for sending me that. It's a real cool product. I really like it. Definitely cool. Well, I better wrap this all up. I gotta get out of here. That wind is gonna be, gonna be a challenge. <laughs> so once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye! Here, Bob, have some coffee. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so disrespectful.